Hello and welcome to the 11th episode of Behind the Railway series, where we take a look at the stories of the Railway series and locate their real-life counterparts in history. Next up is the series' 11th book, Percy the Small Engine, first published in 1956. The book's first story, Percy and the Signal, sees James and Gordon paying out Percy for being cheeky by telling him about backing signals. As work increases for Percy, the Fat Controller gets a new engine to help with loads in Duck Takes Charge. In Percy and Harold, the little green engine meets a cocky helicopter and beats him in a race. The final story, Percy's Promise, has Percy braving a flooded line with the help of Harold the helicopter to take his passengers home. Like with several volumes, Percy the Small Engine was written based on correspondence from readers. The volume was also the first to be published by the Amalgamated Company of Kay and Ward. The signal in Percy and the Signal was not really a backing signal, but an upper quadrant signal. Backing signals were usually used on hills to indicate when it's safe to back down hills with a heavy train. The character of Duck in Duck's Takes Charge was named after an engine on the Reverend Audrey's model railway. The wheels were slightly off-center, and the engine seemed to waddle along the rails, earning it the nickname Duck. There aren't many examples of trains racing helicopters in history, although they were coming to be all the rage for transport in the 1950s. And although it seems slightly unusual, Percy's promise was based off a similar incident in Norfolk, where a passenger train was stranded in a tidal wave but made it to its final destination using floorboards from the brake van. No helicopters were involved, but it did show the intrepidness of the engine crew. Percy the Small Engine was another hit for the Reverend Autry, but it proved to be the final collaboration between him and illustrator C. Reginald Dalby. The Reverend and publisher Edmund Ward had constant gripes about Dalby's artwork, despite the fact his work for this volume was some of his best. Eventually he resigned, leaving Ward and Autry to find a new illustrator for the next volume. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and also leave a comment below. Until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.